Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Today is the first day of spring and it was a warm and windy one. Take a look at our high temperatures recorded across the valley today. 68 degrees in Jamestown and up in Hallock, 67 in Grand Forks, 63 here in Fargo today, and that actually breaks a record. The previous record was 62 set back 110 years ago in 1911. Lots of 50s across northwestern Minnesota, and I saw just a few minutes ago that Bismarck he made it to 71 degrees on this afternoon. It did not come without wind, though. Our peak wind gusts here in Fargo, the strongest of the day at 53 miles per hour. We had a gust to 47 down in Sisseton this afternoon, 45 miles per hour in Park Rapids, 47 miles per hour in Crookston, 41 miles per hour up in Hallock. So it was a very breezy first day of spring. It's still a touch breezy out there with winds still out of the south, sustained in the teens and 20s, so it has backed off a little bit but still not calm by any means. Temperatures tonight have also fallen into the upper 40s and a few low 50s under mostly clear skies, but you can see on satellite and radar, we still have a few thin filtering clouds. And out west, we have some rain on the radar. Most of that is still off to the west into portions of Montana. This up here is going to continue to push north through the overnight hours, might graze our international border counties, but this down here could work its way towards our neck of the woods as we head into tomorrow. So let's time this out in your hour by hour forecast. A few scattered showers late tonight, but then by early tomorrow morning, we'll pause this at right around lunchtime. We're going to see that area of rain become a little bit more widespread across the valley, and it will continue to move east throughout the day. It's going to be another breezy day. Notice by lunchtime, those winds still gusting into the 20s, but no longer out of the south. It's going to turn around more of a westerly direction for our early afternoon, and eventually, turn out of the north by the time that rain moves on out. So here we are by bedtime tomorrow. Temperatures mostly in the 30s and 40s, and now we'll have a northerly breeze behind that cold front that brings the rain, and this is much needed rain. Overall, I anticipate less than a half an inch of new accumulation within these lighter blue shaded areas. The darker blue seen closer to that half inch mark in some places in the northern valley, extreme northern Minnesota, could see right around a half an inch or maybe even a little bit more. And as I was mentioning, it is much needed. We need any drop of rain we can get because the majority of our region is anywhere between moderate to extreme drought conditions. Very tough on farmers for this planting season. So we need the rain. Sunrise in Fargo tomorrow will be at 728. We'll start off our day very mild. Temperatures in the 40s, only rising up though into the lower 50s, so a cooler day. And I expect that rain to start right around late morning and continue through the afternoon hours before sunset at 742. Snapshot of your hometown forecast tomorrow calls for lots of temperatures in the mid and upper 40s, a few low 50s as well. And we do have more precipitation in the forecast. A few showers on Tuesday, Rain showers during the day, transitions to snow late in the day and overnight with some accumulating snow Wednesday morning could pose some impact to your morning commute, especially across the southern Red River Valley. It's looking like right now and into portions of adjacent West Central Minnesota. So we have that first alert weather day for Wednesday before another chance of some mixed showers in as we head into next weekend. Well, although the rain may be, you know, a, a bad one for us, but at least those farmers will get what they need. Exactly, yes. 